see God works in mysterious ways. Does this go to this Facebook? Uh, vaccine reactions and in injuries photo gallery and vaccine free children photo gallery. A whole bunch of stories. That's, that's and it has the quotes from the actual people talking about their kid, right? It's a brutal uh, brochure about uh, vaccines, and it, it takes like a, a personal account. So there's some Facebook pages that post pictures of kids who have been injured by it. This baby died in 47 days. Just like, just his, or his system fell apart after getting the Hep B shot. And of course, you know, doctors, they'll never admit that. If you go through Vaccine Free Children Photo Gallery on Facebook, not only can you see people who have been hurt by it, but you can see a lot of success stories, like all of the people who post saying, my child was never vaccinated, uh, never been sick. And this is the comic by Dixon, which is showing that the system or the medical industrial complex tells you, brands it as safe uh, just to commit this Machiavellian pharma model where they inject you with one thing and then it gives you side effects which then they give you uh, other drugs or vaccinations for. The CDC's recommendation for vaccinations. So what you do is you go to the CDC website and you, you put your child's name in and then you put the day they were born or going to be born and they give you a schedule of vaccinations uh, that the child should get. So by the time they're 12, they should have had 38 vaccinations. Yeah, inside here we have actual photos of vaccine injuries. Uh, these are all individual stories. This, this boy was given the Gardasil vaccine accidentally, and uh, now he has leukemia. The hepatitis B and the MMR are the most um, prevalent when it comes to vaccine injury. You can find hepatitis B injuries anywhere. And uh, the mother here says, you know, she gave the child to go get the hepatitis B vaccination. Uh, he comes back and it wasn't the same baby. She thought they had actually mixed the babies up or she had joked about it because uh, he wouldn't sleep. Uh, he's cranky all the time. Feeding patterns changed. Uh, he got seizures from the DTAP. It's just endless. The Truth Seeker is still out here on the streets. Don't Get Shot campaign continues. Word up. Yeah, basically you got the CIA name. You got 911 not here, so yeah. And of course he's been dead, what, seven times? Seven, at least. Seven times. They bury the body. They won't show any pictures because they don't want to incite more violence. The problem is they have no problem showing multiple images or angles of 9-11, the buildings collapsing. They have no problem showing horror movies on TV like Saw or Nightmare on Elm Street with people being ripped apart. They have a problem showing a dead body going into the water. Crazy world we live in, eh? Yeah. Obviously, if they capture Bin Laden, why shoot him? Why not get more answers out of him? Yeah, why don't you take bring him to trial? He's uh, for uh, a trial. Put him on trial because he has the right to a fair Inter trial. Interrogate him or something. Interrogate him. Yeah. Get the, Honestly, get the information out of them. You know, you know why they don't want to do it? Because they might find out that he, he didn't die. Uh, I did the research. Well, actually, a Chinese friend of mine who owns a variety store, he uh, downloaded this. It says, before you buy your next uh, uh, bottle of cooking oil, rape in a different guy. So that's how they cover, uh, cover the, the rapeseed oil up, by calling it canola oil, which is no such oil. It's, it's come from the rapeseed plant. And uh, when you look at it, it's no good. It's very toxic to the body. Rats won't touch it because they cause the tumors and stuff like that, you know. And if you actually inhale the, the fumes from uh, this oil extract, you could probably uh, catch uh, lung cancer. So I actually wear a mask around the vats because when you turn them off, it all starts smoking. So if you're gonna breathe that in, that's what you're gonna get. By nature, these rape, rapeseed oils, which have long been used to uh, produce oils for industrial purposes, 
are toxic to humans and other animals. Also causes emphysema, respiratory distress, anemia, constipation, irritability, and blindness in animals and humans. So the best oils to get is cod liver oil, which I take every day after a meal, and also olive oil, you can also cook with it. So it's best to avoid these other these other oils, it, it's not good for you. Except that canola means can Canadian oil, and the plant is still a rape plant. It comes from the mustard uh, plant, which was also used in uh, making mustard gas during World War One, which, uh, which killed hundreds of thousands of uh, troops during that war, so best not to use it. And it was also, French reports indicate that it was again used in the Gulf War. It might say canola oil and it might just say vegetable oil. See, that's a cover-up right there. Eat healthy, everybody. So this is Michael from Toronto Truth Seekers. Uh, so we'll talk at you later. Okay, see ya. All right. We're up, Toronto Truth Seekers. We're out here. We're uh, in the uh, heat of the summer. They want to call us conspiracy uh, theory out here, but what we're doing is looking into the facts. What can we find out uh, from research? Uh, what is being uh, declassified? How about uh, some declassified CIA documents, letters from the president to the head of the CIA, uh, written, you know, just coincidentally 10 days before JFK was assassinated, asking for all knowns and unknowns high threat cases. Printing's not that good, but this is a real uh, files that were printed in the book, A Celebration of Freedom, JFK and the Final and the New Frontier, uh, jfkennedybook.com. What about the moon landing? That was, of course, JFK's biggest announcement of his presidency, some say. How about uh, is that they were going to land on the moon? Uh, we can't be sure what happened. Now, this involves uh, the Freemason moon conspiracy. Uh, this is a picture of Buzz Aldrin with uh, one of the top Freemasons here with the flag that apparently was placed on the moon. Uh, this is apparently a picture that is in the Freemason Lodge in Washington, D.C. Uh, that pictures Neil Armstrong, the other guy that was involved with this, uh, this whole moon thing, um, wearing the apron. I guess he wore the apron. Buzz Aldrin planted the flag. Our flag's on the moon. Okay, so basically, uh, as Toronto Truth Seekers, we've got this campaign, Free the Masons Campaigns, and if you start researching this stuff, you'll start realizing the control of society that they're doing. Control of popular culture, control of politics. How about control of current political issues? Here we've got a uh, recent uh, picture here. We've got the mayor of Toronto and the mayor of Mississauga in a large fish. This is a New World Order Illuminati symbolism in the picture. If you actually see the article that's attached to the picture, it's not about uh, Rob Ford. Uh, Norman Jewison wades into the dispute involving Margaret Atwood and this guy's brother, Doug Ford, a counselor. Now, when you uh, look into this and when you just start doing some research on who Norman Jewison is, he's a very famous, uh, famous man. I think he's, he grew up in the beach. I actually read his his autobiography. This is a man who, who founded the Canadian Film Centre, who was a, you know, a famous Hollywood director, and he was born in Canada, and he talks about in his own uh, biography about how he's a Freemason and how important Freemasonry is. And now that is interesting, so why would he all of a sudden just want to weigh in on this debate? Well, uh, you know, maybe Doug Ford is not a Freemason, maybe Margaret Atwood is not a female Freemason or an Eastern star, you know, but when you actually read what their debate is, it's Freemason issues. Now, uh, what uh, the City of Toronto is talking about is closing down libraries, and if you do any uh, research on the history of libraries, they credit a Freemason as the starter of all free libraries in North America, Benjamin Franklin. Doug Ford is saying that they need more Tim Hortons and less libraries. If you go to a Freemasonry Watch Canada, check out Research Canadian Freemasonry, Tim Horton, the hockey player, the guy that Tim Horton's coffee shop is named after, is always listed as Canadian Freemasonry. This is where, you know, the conspiracy gets everywhere. So what do you do? What are the Freemasons trying to hide? What is, what do they have that we, you know, that we can't believe? Um, and what happens when you try to get out of the system? This is the interesting part with the free man on the land. Now, the free man on the land movement, uh, I've always been wondering, you know, is, it, is there connections with Freemasonry? Well, how about the uh, E-Division of the RCMP creating an officer awareness bulletin 
for uh, people who uh, talk about the Free Man on the Land movement, the dissemination of this report about Free Man on the Land is to support criminal operations. So that is a, <laughs> that's a question mark right there. Why it's only page one of two, but you look everywhere online, you can only find one page. This was just leaked, uh, I guess August 3rd, 2011, and it was just leaked a few days ago. Now it's all over online. We've got to be cautious about this uh, criminal uh, e-division of the RCMP because of everything that Kevin Ann has been saying and that the, uh, the whole idea that they might have framed him last summer, got him kicked out of Vancouver Co-op Radio. Uh, you know, that's the E-Division Dirty Tricks campaign, I guess. You know, so that's just some of the information that's going to be added to, uh, we're going to add it to this book here. Show you what we got here. Some Infowars.com flyers, and, you know, got lots of information in this book. Um, Obama's birth certificate, got some. Lots of information. This is talking about uh, how dentists are talking about how uh, fluor the fluoride is needed in the uh, water supply. What's its value ingested? Uh, probably no medical, uh, <laughs> no medical use at all. MD stress fluoride's benefit. Here's the part I like. Ontario's doctors want to stress the health benefits of fluoride in drinking water, especially for children, immigrant, and low-income groups. Coming from the president of the Ontario Medical Association, Stuart Kennedy. Uh, Stuart Kennedy is agreeing with this guy who's like a, a head specialist for uh, some Ontario dentists. Um, you know, University of Toronto dental expert, Julian Geller. You know. This is, uh, so this is the whole agenda. This is the fluoride agenda. That is why we've got a lot, uh, you know, we've got a lot more information on fluoride, a lot more flyers out, and we got the poison in the water supply uh, booklets. You do your historical information on, on fluoride, you do your research on fluoride, uh, you'll probably come to the same conclusion that Toronto Truth Seekers have basically come to at this point, which is that it should, the fluoride should be removed for uh, health reasons from the water supply, uh, medical health reasons, you know, not just for the cost saving benefits that, you know, the city of Toronto wants, you know, so uh, this is our message uh, to both uh, Mississauga and Toronto, keep the fluoride out, word up, word out. I never landed. I think uh, they're going to use um, John Glenn, they're going to murder him at one time. Maybe as he was going up in a rocket or something like that, they're gonna like shoot it out of the sky or whatever. That's what I heard at one time. So, like, like Operation Northwood, they're gonna use John Glenn as an example. References to John Glenn, who was a uh, astronaut who became a politician, surprisingly. Buzz Aldrin uh, did not become a politician. This is a uh, strange appearance in the movie Transformers 3, Dark Side of the Moon, where Buzz Aldrin plays along with the idea that Transformers are on the moon and the dark side, the dark side of the moon. Got any thoughts on the truth is out there or what? Well, well I know I have an uncle, uh, well he's passed on now, he was a Freemason as well. But we didn't know about it because he, he didn't say anything about it at the time. Roughly to his, uh, all his material and all his papers and uh, found a piece of paper, he's the, 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 the a Freemason, right? I think it was one of the low uh, Freemasons, you know, like one or two or three or whatever. But, you know, they don't tell, the people at the top don't tell the people at the bottom what's really going on until you get up to that point. So, yeah, there you go. So, Freemasonry is not the way, real way to go. So, just do what you have to do to get the word out. Come to the table, get some uh, free DVDs and flyers. A lot of stuff on, uh, on politics. Fluoride in the water and aspartame, and you're chewing gum and uh, and Jello. Don't touch Jello either because it's got aspartame in it as well. So check your labels, and uh, you'll be better off that way. If you eat properly, it's good for your body, mind, and spirit. So, right up, so you heard it here, Toronto Truth Seekers. We're meeting here on a summer day. It's uh, about August the 13th, so that's an Illuminati number. Uh, we're talking about Hollywood, talking about uh, conspiracy culture, and talking about next. Saturday, the 20th, there is a film screening, Kubrick's Odyssey, talking about did uh, one of the most famous directors in Hollywood history uh, record the landing on the moon uh, in a Hollywood film studio? Well, that's a question. <laughs>